Good morning, everyone. You're watching Breakfast Television here on a City. Lots of us make New Year's resolutions right now, and our parenting expert, Julie Friedman-Smith, suggests we should resolve to be better parents, too. And one way to do so is to work on consistency. Isn't this the word of the year, really, of all Well, years? it is. Our, at Parenting Power, this is our theme of the year, okay. consistency. We always choose one, and that's where we landed this year. This year. Yep. So how do we define consistency? What does that look like? Well, it means doing the same thing over and over again. And, and we can look at it in a few different ways. As parents, it's about making sure that our words and our actions are consistent. Okay. Are we nagging our kids to do something? Pick up, pick up your coat. You never hang up your coat. You've got to hang up your coat. And then going and hanging it up for them. For them. Because yeah. our words and our actions, if they don't align, kids learn about 75% of what they learn from us through our actions. Okay. So first part is consistency between our words and our actions. And then the second part really is consistency day to day. If we want to build those habits in our kids, right. they learn by doing the same thing over and over again. You and I were talking about examples of consistency, and I was asking you about the one, two, three. You always hear parents counting, especially when it comes to their young children, one, two, three. I use that, but it worked really well for me because I always moved on three. And the kids knew three doesn't look good. I don't like three. Mm -hmm. And they knew mom moved on three. So we never had a problem. By the time one was done, we were going. We were ready to go. Right. And but that's because I was consistent. So we did it every single time. So they knew what was going to happen at three. Exactly. And kids are like little scientists. They're always testing. They're pushing to see if what you say is going to happen is actually going to happen. Okay. And when we're inconsistent, that means they have to keep testing. You know, right. she said she was going to do this yesterday. She did it, but she hasn't done it in a long time. So she, I'll keep misbehaving and see how far I can get. Right. That's kind of the way it works. And that's a nasty situation to be in because then nothing is calm and quiet. And exactly. Ordinary and nobody knows what's going on. Right? So as soon as they know that you can be trusted, that you're going to say what you said, you're going to do what you said you were going to do, right. then that gives them a foundation. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. they can have something upon which to, to lean and also from where to bounce off. So they can go into the world knowing, I can trust what's happening at home. That's reliable. That's calm. That's consistent. Okay. That's a nice thing to do. Now, what does that look like, though, when we talk to teenagers, for example? That was a, an example for little kids. Sure. So a lot of those things can still happen. You might still be picking up your teenager's coat and hanging right. it up in the cubby. Ah! And, and, you know, that face that I just did, that's a great way to know because regardless of the age of your kids, if you have that moment where you're going, ah, not again, are you kidding me? We just talked about this yesterday. That may be the place that you want to start working on consistency for your family. Okay. So with your teen, that might look like putting down their phone at a certain time right. or getting homework done or getting clothes into the dirty laundry bin or completing a chore, right. taking the garbage out. They're, it's the same for all of us, right? We have these areas that are frustrating every day, so start there. Okay. And rather than trying to be consistent with everything and failing, right. pick one of those uh, moments, one <laughs> or two, maybe one in the morning and one in the evening, or one in the week and one in the weekend, and then make a plan for how it's going to be. And that means your script. Okay. So what do you, what do you need? How are, how are your words and actions going to align? And also setting it up with your kids. So working with your kids about this is what we're working on this week. Right. We're all going to stay to this. So family meeting, we're going to make some changes. Yes. This is what this is going to look like. Yeah. And then be consistent. Yeah. And then if you need to put a reminder in your phone or some big sign on the fridge or whatever it is, help everybody out. Right. We're going to make some changes. Make it easy. Yes. Wonderful. Julie, thank you so much. Great advice. Always happy to be As here. always.